Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we forgot to do the trivia question lap last episode. So the last question that I asked was, who was the first female prime minister of Great Britain? It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day tomorrow. The answer to that question is Margaret Thatcher. And this episode's trivia question is what is the world's largest island world's largest island what is it wellwick tells me that the spirits are in good humor today so that's cool queen of sauce is a rerun and it's omelet okay uh one thing i want to pull up wait for it this is a screenshot of our farm on the first day of the playthrough and this is the first day of fall obviously we got a lot of hay down there but this area is all cleared out this is cleared out We've got some croppage very few uh weeds and whatnot so that's kind of nice because that makes you know seasonal cleanup a lot easier so i don't know if that was if that's going to be the norm but anyway that was kind of helpful so there you go making some progress y'all and we'll keep an eye on that as we go all right so let's talk about this episode what's on the to-do list uh we're gonna just basically today is a fishing day so fairly straightforward we're gonna try and catch the salmon the tiger trout and the sea cucumber today we've got to go to the river in the forest to try and get the salmon and the tiger trout first then we'll come back to the uh farmstead and see if we can catch the suit the sea cucumber uh before seven o'clock and then we will go uh Okay, so Marnie wants amaranth, which we just planted, so that's cool. I'd love to give my pals a special treat. They're such good girls and hungry, too. Could you bring me a bunch of amaranth? They love the stuff. Thanks, dear. Marnie. All right. Cooper's over there sleeping. We're going to do... Uh, what am I here for? I'm going to bring that trap bobber. I don't know that I'll need it for you know salmon and whatnot but let's see if we can't catch the uh, ducks and everybody as they're coming out not a big deal all right so we're heading south here i see you over there seaweed i'll just go ahead and grab it since i'm over here see like this whole area the only you know stuff that popped up was that one log that's pretty cool Let's keep those trees respawning in my uh, forest area. I like to have a source of wood supply. All right. So, again, we're going down here. We're going to try and catch the salmon and the tiger trout. Um, now, I looked it up. The quest that i've got to, to catch trash or whatever it does count stuff from your crab pots so that's good all right we want i didn't really look up uh how many of these we'll need so there's a salmon already let's do that real quick if i can uh let's sort by season Go to fall. Salmon I need for salmon dinner, but that's it. Tiger trout I need for the river fish bundle, but that's it. So that's easy enough. I need two of each, essentially. One minimum. Two of each would be nice. So. Here's, uh, this could be the tiger trout. Wait, it's jumping around. Boom. All right, we got one of each already. That's cool. Is there anything that we should be chatting about? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. 
Oh, somebody <laughs> in the comments the other day, somebody said they offered congratulations. I, I think because we're kind of approaching... I, I can't remember why they said congrats. It may have been on like number of viewers or something like that. But anyway, okay, there's my second tiger trout. And more geodes. Um, but anyway, they, they said, huzzah! And huzzah meaning like, hooray! Or whatever. But it's an old timey term. Which got me kind of thinking about my... I used to play in a vintage baseball league. Um, and the easiest way to describe a vintage baseball league is it's a recreational league, a non-profit here in Tennessee. But there are, there are you know, statewide leagues <clears throat> all over the... Mostly the Midwest. Uh, but anyway... Vintage baseball is basically a call it a reenactment of the way baseball was played in the 1860s. Like our league used an 18, 1864 rule book of baseball. And so we played the game kind of the way it was played during the Civil War. I almost didn't get my chest there. So it's a lot of fun. Um, the way it would have been back then that's, you know, different from baseball today, there are many, but the most obvious one when you go and actually watch one of these games is that there are no gloves. So you're playing baseball with your bare hands. All right, there's our second salmon, and it's only 940. All right, so we are going home. Wasn't there a tree over here that I could possibly cut down? Yeah. Let's, I got to keep trying to chop. Get out of the way, Bush. Got to remember to keep chopping trees, y'all. But anyway, um, no gloves. Uh, the pitcher threw underhand. Kind of like slow pitch softball. Uh, because the objective... that the, pit, the pitcher's objective was to get the batter to hit the ball, you know, so that the game would keep moving. There there was no, like, confrontation where they were trying to strike out the hitter or, you know, trick them in any way. So it was different in that respect. And, you know, the fact that they were throwing underhand and not, like, overhand throwing fastballs trying to, you know, throw it past somebody. We'll go ahead and grab these two apples since it's the third. I've got to remember on days... That are multiples of three. We'll grab um, our fruit from the apple tree. All right, now we've got until seven to catch a sea, a sea cucumber. Whoa, come on, pause it. I'm wasting time here. But anyway, um, I should probably save more corn. I'm going to save regular corn because why not now you guys go in there you guys can go in there uh, we'll take some wood out of here boom 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 skadoosh all right we're back up to 21 coal Let's, why sort, holy smokes. I uh, probably need to do, oh, get some coal. All right, I actually uh, can keep the apples. Now fish, we're keeping those two salmon and two tiger trout right all right let's go we're gonna sell the other fish here <clears throat> boom 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 sell the mushrooms uh wait here's what i want to do boom
Now, see, I got two out of that. So if I go to my, there's where Marnie wants Amaranth. Community cleanup, I now have five out of 20. So what I want to do is fish to catch the sea cucumber. And we'll cast out far until we get it. Um, <clears throat> then once I get the sea cucumber, actually I need to look up how many sea cucumbers I need. It's the last fall fish that I need. I know that. I need one for a lucky lunch. I could keep one for Willie as a loved gift, but eh. So two would be nice. And then once I get the two, I'm not going to cast out far because the closer you cast to shore, the more likely it is that you will get trash, which is what we actually want for right now. Come on, CQ. Come on. Tilapia. I know I could increase my odds of getting the sea cucumber by going to the actual ocean. But it's okay. If I catch some seaweed and trash or whatever in the process here, it's not that big of a deal. So it is any weather, right? Yeah, come on. Give me the sea cucumber. I can only catch it until 7 o'clock. I really don't want to have to keep fishing to try and catch the stinking sea cucumber, though. So, this is not it right here. That's like an anchovy or something again. Come on! So, the sea cucumber should probably dart up and then start, like, dropping its way down. It's called a sinker. And that's generally what that means, is that it works its way downward from the top. So to do that, it's got to get to the top first. What'd we get? What'd we get? Another book and a magma geode. But anyway, uh, going back to baseball. So no gloves. The pitcher threw underhand. Uh, there were no called balls or strikes. So, again, part of the, the objective of the pitcher was just to get the, pit, the batter to hit it. So, they weren't like, you know, they were trying to throw it down the middle. So, it was rare that they would throw a bunch of pitches in a row that weren't hittable. So, there were no called balls or strikes. You could still strike out if you swung and missed three times, but that was really rare because they're just throwing it underhand. They're not you know, trying to strike you out. So to swing and miss three slow pitch, you know, lobs coming in is not very common. Um, the big, another big difference uh, was that in 1865, they changed this rule, but prior to 1865, you could catch a ball on one bounce and the batter would be out. So, if you caught it on the fly, it was treated like it is today. But if you caught the ball after it bounced just one time, it was basically the same as if, like, they hit a ground ball to, a, you know, an infielder and they threw that base or they threw the batter out at first base. That's basically the same. So, like, for example, if you were on base and somebody hits a deep fly ball that an outfielder runs and catches it on the first bounce, you could just keep on running. You wouldn't have to go back and tag up like a fly ball. Come on, sea cucumber. Uh, and, like, where that's hard to get used to is, let's say there's a runner on first. If you know anything about baseball... Um, this will make sense, but runner on first in today's game, if I'm the runner on first and the batter hits a hard one hop to the shortstop that the shortstop catches in today's game, that shortstop is going to throw the ball to second to get me out. And then the second baseman is going to throw the ball to first to get a double play. All right, there's one sea cucumber we need one more 
But in vintage baseball, where they could catch it on one bounce, when the shortstop catches that hard one hop, the batter is immediately out, as if that shortstop just threw the ball to first base, which means, as the runner that was on first, I don't have to go to second. I can just stay there. And that's really hard for the, like, if you've played baseball your whole life under, you know, modern rules, that is really hard to get used to, not only as a base runner, but also as a fielder. I don't know how many times in our league you would have that situation unfold where the shortstop catches that ball, flips it to second real quick, the second baseman then throws it to first, and the base runner that was on first is kind of like, oh, nuts, I'm out. And then they realize, like, wait a minute, I'm not out. So when he threw it to second and the second baseman then threw it to first, all that that did was get the batter out at first whenever the first baseman caught it. But I can go to second still. It's really weird. But anyway, that's one of the rules. There's another rule um, that's really hard to also get used to is that wherever the ball lands first determines whether it is fair or foul. So you could hit a ground ball like down the baseline that lands in fair territory first and then hooks foul into foul territory before it gets to the base, where in today's game, that would be a foul ball. But back then, that's fair ball. So that one was hard to get used to. All right, we got another hour and a half to try and catch another sea cucumber. We're getting a fair amount of trash, which is good. Like, where are we at? We're already at 11. So we're over halfway there. We'll probably get a few more out of our um, crab pots over the next few days. Uh, but it would be nice to have that completed, um, you know, with a couple days of cushion. I could go up to the train area and drop off the 20 pieces of trash if I wanted to and just get that part of the quest done. But when it hits 7 o'clock today, what I'm going to do is stop fishing. I got to go water the crops and take care of the animals. Come on, sea cucumber. I don't think that's it. Uh, it might be. Nope. Out of core. Run out of energy. And I don't want to eat that Autumn's Bounty just to be able to water crops and take care of the cows. But I can eat fish. So. All right. <clears throat> Let's come here and... Actually, let's go ahead and go to water the crops and everything. Why is that chicken still out? Go to bed, chicken. Duck is out, too. Starting to feel exhausted. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just that tilapia should give me a fair amount of energy. Oh, cripes. Now, tomorrow, the plan is to um, continue chipping away at that uh, job post for the trash. Yeah, that uses a lot of energy, dang it. Um, and essentially once we maybe get a few more trash, like we're at, what, what were we at? 11? If I can get to like 15 tomorrow, fairly early, we'll go mining because we really need to start going and try and get in some more iron and coal. So, but there's nothing else on the to-do list tomorrow. It's a, it's a day where, um, all right, so here... Oh, they're all trying to sleep, so I can't even say hi to them. I know he's trying to sleep. I, w I want to pick up the eggs. No, I know. I can't get to that. Here's what we're going to do. Ready for this? Move, chickens. See that? They were all sleeping, and then they just all magically move. 
So we're going to grab all of the hay out of the hopper. Now, I do need to put some out, actually, now that I think about it. So we'll do that. And wait for it. Do the same thing in here. Is my goat ready to give me some milk? Finally? Why is my dinosaur egg not hatching? Oh, crap! <sighs> Ugh. Dang it. This is a long day, y'all. I need to get a shipping bin and put it down there. I wish it didn't cost any wood, or I would have done it a while ago. I don't need any of this stuff. Right? Uh, we'll keep the duck egg for now, so that I have an extra one. Sell, sell. Sell. And sell. Alright. That's plenty of space for, uh, the remaining couple of milks that I need to get real quick. So, which one did I get? That one. That cow, or that goat, yep, we got goat's milk. It's not large, but it's better than nothing. Uh, wait, is there hay in there? Yeah. Okay, now, last thing we do, we'll leave that hay there for now because it's not hurting anything, but we're going to come down here and we're going to scythe a bunch of hay. And then in my chests in the shed, I'll stash the hay that I just collected so that we can kind of keep a supply in a chest to replenish the silo. So basically what we want to kind of do is do this every once in a while. Once this area gets refilled with all this hay again, we'll just do it. this. We'll execute this little strategy again and keep adding to our hay collection that way. It'll all make sense eventually. It should make sense the way I described it, but if it doesn't, it will eventually. All right, we're running low on energy, and it's getting late. It's not a huge deal, though. I've got that Autumn's Bounty that can give me a, an energy refill tomorrow. We just need to get in, in bed before 2 a.m. so we don't lose, what, 200 bucks? Or no, 10%. We would lose 1,000 bucks. So we really don't want to do that. There we go. 140. That's more than half of the uh, silo refilled. So that's good. Let's get to bed. I will deal with all my inventory tomorrow. All right, so Thursday the 4th is coming up. Again, we'll do some fishing to try and get some trash, and then we will go coal mining. Now, I should also try and catch another sea cucumber. So... At first, what we will do is cast outward as far as we can to try and get a good sea cucumber. All right, thunderstorm coming tomorrow. And it's a bad luck day, which might actually help us uh, because if we go mining, uh, if we go fishing, we should get more trash. If we go mining, there should be more monsters that could drop us coal. If you're a farmer in a small town, it's likely you've been invited to create a grange display at some point. Typically, a grange display consists of nine items that best showcase your talents. Shoot for high-quality, high-value items and make sure to have a variety as well. Fish, minerals, artisan goods, fruit, and vegetables are all good to have. So there you go. The grange festival is on the horizon. So... We should kind of keep that in mind. All right, what do we need to do here? Let's go ahead and we'll just do that in there, I suppose. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, 
that's it that goes in there right now in here we're gonna stash 219 hay so that's cool that can go in there uh that 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 and that can all go in there sea cucumber goes in there keeping eggs in here correct duck egg i don't need to save any of the milk should try and swing by Clint's at some point and bust open all them geodes. Wait. Wait for it. Boom. Let's, uh... Where's my bait? Or bug meat? Let's do that. We're gonna replenish our bait supply. Boom. There we go. Uh, what are we doing here? Look, two, two more trash right there. That gives us a baker's dozen. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Yep. Okay. Now, we can... Uh, we can go ahead and do the crops and the animals first. Then we'll do the fishing. Then we'll go mining. If I do all this stuff now, then I'll know exactly how much time I can spend. Where are you going, little duck? You going to swim in the water? You went the long way, if that's the case. Because you could have just gone to the west when you came out of the coop. It's okay, though. I give you the freedom to go wherever you want. That's the kind of owner that I am. So one of the upgrades that I need to, you know, kind of be thinking about is I really, why am I going there? I really want a stable, but I also really want um to upgrade the shed and the coop. So we kind of need to decide what's most important to us. Uh, I think the stable... See, the thing is, I've got to get my coop... or I've got to get my barn upgraded by... It takes, I think, 10 days for a pig to reach maturity. So I have to have that barn f upgraded to the next level by like the 14th or so. So we don't have a ton of time to put that off or else we'll run out of time to get a truffle this season, which would then mean we'd have to rely on getting it from the traveling cart lady. And you know how reliable she is. Hey. Oh, so goats only give you milk every other day. So that's what's going on there. All right. We got our milk. Animals are all taken care of. Hey there, little duck. What's your name? Atiel. All righty. Uh, is there anything I need to save here? I don't think so. So let's go sell all this stuff. Then we'll go fishing. Boom, 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 and boom. We want a single freaking sea cucumber. I don't like standing right there because I can't see myself. All right, that's 14 trash. Please don't make me fish all freaking day to get this one lousy sea cucumber. Because I really want to go do something else today. Tackle has worn out. That's probably not a big deal, though. I don't think there are going to be any really troublesome fish with this expedition. The water, uh, Cooper sitting in the water up there. But anyway, I was telling that story about old-timey baseball because the person said huzzah. And 
part of the whole ordeal when you play old timey baseball is you you're it's kind of like a civil war reenactment except instead of fighting a battle you're playing baseball and you know the game isn't predetermined like a civil war reenactment would be like you don't know who's going to win like we're actually playing a game and so you're you're talking and you'll say things like huzzah and it was a gentleman's game back then which is why i really enjoyed it is because it was not like super competitive like if you won great you would feel better about it but you're you know the the whole like kind of you know driving force behind the league was it was just fun and people did it because they enjoyed you know not only the gamesmanship but the pageantry of the whole ordeal so i did that for several years and kind of I gave it up eventually just because I didn't have a ton of free time. All right. Let's see if we can get to... Oh, come on. I'm not even casting out there, and I'm still getting fish when I don't even really want them. I want trash. I'll take that treasure chest, though. We'll do, like, one more cast. I already have, like... Cripes. Why are you... Well, that was a lot of energy wasted. This is my last cast. We want to go mining. And we caught another fish. That's okay. I think we're at like 14 on the trash count. And we still have a few days. So, we're okay. In fact, I have a plan to... Execute here. Alright. Come over here and sell gunther needs glass shards apparently sell sell cooper you need to quit barking buddy getting on my nerves all right let's come on over here boom uh why am i in here wood you go in there you go in there uh you go in there you go in there we'll put these torches in there for now i might use them at some point you can put them on fence posts um so maybe later on in the playthrough we'll do that okay let's grab 20 pieces i'm gonna just do this trash because it says Dump the trash in the recycling bin behind the tra train platform. Zero out of 20. So, I just need to put 20 pieces of trash in there, and now I've got it. So, I'm going to hit the, the mine carts, go to town, drop that stuff off, then hit the mine carts up to the woods. I didn't water Cooper's bowl. There you go, buddy. Um... Actually, I have something else I can do today. We're not going to get to the mines <laughs> for a while. That bulletin board job, or whatever it's called, uh, is cutting into my productivity on other stuff. And it's okay. We're already halfway through the year, and the traveling cart lady hasn't come through yet, so I'm not counting on her to get me that red cabbage. She's just... Not real high on my list of favorite people. All right, bring me the coal. I think I already have that, right? Yep. <clears throat> Pretty sure I already have that. Yep, I know I already have that. I know I already have the poop stone. Ooh, I don't think we have the petrified slime yet. Oh, yeah, we do. Okay. All right, another one of those, another one of those. Holy cripes. Did I get anything that I can give to Gunther? Nope. All I did was take up all my inventory. Dang it. Look at all the books I could read. Yikes. Glass shards. Ooh, got a reward. What do we get? What do we get? 
Ooh, Rare Crow. That's, I think, two of them that we have now. That's cool. All right, since we have so much freaking stuff, we're going to um, back off from our plan to do a lot of mining today. We might still get there eventually. Leah's been eating a lot of salad. Good for you, Leah. We are going to go... Wait for it. I unlocked the sewer hatch with the rusty key. So here is Mr. Krobus. A human visitor? This is most unusual. I'm Krobus, merchant of rare and exotic goods. Have you encountered others like me in the mines? I'm sorry if they were hostile toward you. You see... We've learned to fear humans. They have, have been too many uh, uh, unpleasant encounters. You haven't slain any of my friends, have you? Uh, <laughs> about that. So this is something we'll want to buy eventually. Star drop for 20 Gs. Some, recep uh, some recipes here. And then this return scepter for 2 million we will buy eventually. But for right now, there's nothing I need to buy from him. What I am going to try and do is, since our schedule is already pretty well shot today, <laughs> let's uh, let's do some fishing down here. We might get some trash. I don't really remember how prevalent that is down here. Uh, but we'll get carp. Actually, I don't have my uh, trap bobber, so this might not be the best idea. Let me look something up real quick. Where is... Here we go. Mutant carp. He's an 80 difficulty and, and darts. How does that compare to, like, a catfish? 75 mixed. I might be able to catch it. Let's give it a whirl. See if we can at least hook it. That'll be our first legend fish. We'll do this till... Oh, there he is. Oh, we got this guy. Don't we? Don't we? Do we? See, he doesn't want to stay still, but we got him. Mutant carp. Booyah. You have caught one of the legendary fish. Sweet. All right. Now, what else did we need to do today? We need to go drop off that trash. And that's pretty much it. Ooh, there's Caroline. Let's. Do we have anything I can give her? sure she likes fruit. I could give her one of those plums. I could feel it in my plums. I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Probably not. I'm going to... Actually, let's make sure she likes plums. <laughs> I want her to be my friend. Caroline. Oh, come on, Wiki! Whatever. Uh, how many? Where is she here? We still have time to keep chipping away at her. I just I need to try and make it a point to go and visit her on a more regular basis. Because, oh dang it! I think Maru is still in the clinic there, but I can't get to her. It's okay. Ooh, Blackberry. We need that for the Fall Foraging Bundle. So we will do a um, community center explosion here before too long, but it makes sense to just wait on a few of the crops that we need, probably. So probably partway through, or about halfway through the fall. I don't know why I just went in there, because I'm not going to do anything in there. But anyway, whenever we get pumpkins, it'll be go time for... Dropping stuff off. Right? I think so. Alright. Let's cut this tree. And we 
are low on energy yet again. I think I can get this tree. Yeah. See, when you start leveling up skills, you get so much more efficient with your energy usage. So it's easier to get through a day without having to eat. My room might be a little less de depressing if I had a window. Yeah, they kind of stuck you down in the basement. So, here we go. Poof. So, that part's done. Now we just need to continue gathering trash. So, why don't we go back and do uh, some more fishing to wrap up the episode. Right? Maybe in the next, uh, actually, yeah, whatever. In the next episode, we'll do a, a small community center run, because there are some things that I can do there, one of which is uh, purchase the next vault upgrade, or the vault bundle, the $10,000 one. Um, so it probably makes sense to knock that one out, and then we'll be 25000 away from unlocking the desert which is cool all right so just hit that mutant carp go in there and that mutant carp will eventually go in a aquarium boom boom look at that I have all that stuff already and again, I'm keeping a lot of this because, like you just saw with um, that job board or whatever, the you know those specialty orders or whatever they're called, that's you know something that I had no idea existed, and yet here I am needing to go and get a bunch of trash. Now, some of them might I, they might all require like things that you have to go and do. Uh, net new, but some of them, like, they might ask for 28 parsnips or whatever. And since I didn't save any, I could have to wait until freaking spring to be able to, to complete it, which is no, no bueno. But all right, was there anything else that I needed to do around here? Uh, let's grab something small to eat. Where are those... Yeah, let's uh let's eat these. And then we'll just fish till they're gone. Try and get some trash here. Right? Here we go. I shouldn't be casting so far out because it decreases my likelihood of getting trash but it's okay how many days do i have left on that quest by the way i'll take that cool uh still have four days we'll get trash just from our crab pots to be able to finish that so i really don't even need to be doing this um but it's never good to just not use time that you could use. So, finally got a fire quartz from a treasure chest. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know why it turns sideways on me like that. It's going to get me a crappy fish, but it's not a big deal. not really sure what we're going to get into in the next episode. <clears throat> we will be doing uh, a community center run to just drop off a few things and keep chipping away at that stuff. In fact, there are... I can drop off that walleye, and I think that completes maybe the night fishing bundle. So that'll be cool. Um, I can get the next vault bundle thing. There are a few fall foraging items I can drop off, etc. So, holy crap, dude. Stay still. Almost lost him there. 
Is this a super cucumber? <clears throat> Holy smokes! This is more difficult than the legend mutant carp that I just caught. <clears throat> Crazy. The mutant carp is the easiest legend fish to catch. Like if you can catch it without a trap bobber, or any tackle for that matter, that's a pretty good indication. Now, then it stays there for how long? You know, let's just keep fishing. We're at 46 minutes. We're doing okay time-wise for the episode, so a little better than last episode anyway. We'll fish till we burn through energy here. So that puts us at 15 trash, right? And with four days to go and three crab pots that have a one in three chance, you know, essentially, well, I don't know what the chances are. Jeez Louise. That thing was bouncing on me and almost let this thing get away. There is a trap bobber that stops it from bouncing like that, but not valuable in my book. Trap bobber is the best. <clears throat> I suppose there's... Oh, right. Another 16. There's one that I think gives a higher chance of treasure, but it reduces the rate of how quickly you get bites. So, I guess if you were just, like, exclusively trying to get treasure, you combine that um, tackle with the pirate profession... You're going to get treasure, like, every time, <laughs> but you won't get as many bites. So I don't I don't know if that's got a ton of value, honestly. Uh, the dressed spinner gets you faster bite rates, but, again, all right, there's another one. We might get to 20 tonight. We got, like, two more casts after this. There's, how many is that? 18. I'll get there. I'll bet you I get there tomorrow with just that. Oh, if that would have been another trash, it would have almost sealed it. I rarely get three, you know, things that I sell out of the crab pots. Well, okay. <clears throat> let's head to bed here. So, let's go douche. I don't need any of those fishes, do I? Nope. So, let's grab boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And we can go and sell. Um, <clears throat> all right, so we're going to smelt. Copper. Wait, isn't it supposed to storm tomorrow? What do lightning rods take? Iron, quartz, and bat wings can make two. Right? Let's do it. Let's put two more out and then go to bed. And that'll give me, what, 18 of these? I'm going to have to figure out a little redesign strategy down there, but it's not a big deal at the moment. So, sell, sell, sell. That will do it for this episode, so if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below, and we'll see y'all next time.